Okay, the audio on this might be really bad, but we'll try it. A regular piece of metal is 10 centimeters longer than it is wide. Squares with two inch side, two inches long, are cut from all four corners to form an open box. If the volume of the box is 832 cubic inches, what were the dimensions of the original piece of paper? I started with metal, ended with paper, but same thing. You got this flat sheet of paper or a flat sheet of metal that's a perfect rectangular shape. First thing you want to do is picture what's going on here. Here is a piece of paper where I've done that. I've cut the corners off. And then you can fold that into a box. Let's see if. Yeah, that's just, I guess that's still the same, but this is also where you just, you're going to cut these corners out. So that gives you kind of an idea of what's going on. So what we have here is we have this width here we don't know, but we do know that the length is 10 centimeters longer than the width. So we know we've got this piece of paper that's, or piece of metal that's W by 10 plus W. So we've got to find out what that W is. And we're going to cut out little squares that are two inches long out of every corner. Every corner. All right, so we've got those are, well, that's pretty ugly, but that's all right. You get the idea. So we're going to cut those out, which then leaves this length here. Uh, we're going to subtract four. So it's 10 plus W minus the four centimeters, two here and two here that we're going to cut off. And that makes the width now width minus four, because we're going to subtract off these two because we're going to cut them out. Um, and that's when you end up, that's what you'll do the first part. So then you fold along the dotted lines and you create a box. So here's our box. If we fold along the dotted lines and the height of the box is two because that's the corner we cut out. The width is no longer width, it's width minus four. And the length is, um, I already forgot what, what, uh, what side we have here. But it was, oh yeah, 10 plus W minus 4, so 10 plus 6, or W plus 6, sorry. So we've got, there's our length, width, and height. So our volume for this thing would be W plus 6 times W minus 4 times 2. And we know that has to equal, if we go back to the original problem, Go back to that original problem that has to equal 832. So we'll go down here and uh, we got to extend it down so we can see it. There it is. So we're going to set that equal to 832 cubic inches. And so you'd start distributing this thing. So you'd have. Uh, We'll save the two for last, but you'd have w squared uh, minus or plus six w minus four w minus twenty four. That's all times two equals eight thirty two. Um, what I might do here instead of, uh, of distributing the two through it might just e be easier to divide both sides by two. That'd be way easier. So you'd get w squared plus 2w, if you combine these two, minus 24, equals 832 divided by 2 is, uh, you know, 416, I do believe, 416, all right. Okay, then we'll subtract the 416 left, and now we've got w squared plus 2w minus, you know, uh, you add those two because of the same sign, you'd have 0, 4, 
looks like 440. So w squared uh, plus 2w minus 440. So we need to then either factor this and uh, just off to the side, what's a good idea is, you know, 440, we know that breaks into 44 and 10, uh, 4 and 11, 2 and 5. And if you look at this, you know, 22 and 20, if you, if you have a difference of 2, you know, thinking about it factoring. So, so this is W plus 22 and w minus 20 equals 0. So if you foiled that or distributed it back, you'd get, uh, you'd get the w squared plus 2w minus 40. But this is your linear, your linear factors. Uh, you could also use quadratic formula, which I'll show at the end of this thing. But setting these both to 0 then, And we know w is 20 or w is negative 22. Well, it's probably not going to be the negative one because we don't have negative distances. So our width is 20. Uh, so our width is 20. So now we go back to our rectangular box. And this was 20. That means this was w plus 10. So the original length was 30. And that is the original. Now, if you want to check your answer, we would have to go back in and see, you know, see if 20 gives you, um, you know, back here at the original equation, see if 20, you know, plug 20 in here, that'd be 26 uh, and 16. So you take 26 times 16 times 2, that should be 832. Uh, that's, and so that would check your answer. Now, I also said you could use quadratic formula, which is fine, too. Uh, you had, it was the original equation, w squared plus 2w uh, by, let's see, let me double check that that's wrong. Hold on here. Yeah, minus 440. Yep, nope, that's right. Minus 440 equals 0. So x equals negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 4 times 1 times negative 440 uh, all divided by 2. And if you if you take that out down, you'll get your two answers, uh, 20 and negative 22 again. And again, we're just looking at the positive one. So the original rectangular piece is 20 by 30. Hope this helps, and I hope it worked.